Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked them blood him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you, go away. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You could see anyone like that? Ain't no lassie's here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassie's got tets. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, I them lasses in the woods. They dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Anyone else here besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay. <laughs> I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose. See? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language! They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter, and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm? Had about enough of this. Asked a simple question. You seen the woman or haven't you? Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Graham. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe Johnny knows something. I'll take him to Johnny before he goes barmy on us. Johnny's your invention, and you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut! Go on now! You'll stand in the corner, I'll make sure you do. And you, stop scaring the little ones. Now go! Be gone! Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed! It's not allowed! He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you, and and Johnny's made up, and and strangers steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger, not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Soup with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? 
one of you knows about him, the others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. Alright, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. I can see you. <laughs> Found you. You can stop hiding. left hiding. You're a wizard, right? Gonna show us some tricks when we get to the cottage. No, we'll talk about your promise. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! 
Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me. Said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Leave my pot down by the bird door. Is that clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb.
this bottle. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel, vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. No, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. 
good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, it got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please. It's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? So you're the three crowns? Crowns? Where'd you get such an ugly word, young man? Village bitches have been gossiping again. There's no limit to how jealous and petty humans can be. Do we look like crones to you? Go ahead, check. Touch me, white-haired one, where it pleases you most. Is it my imagination, or is this tapestry made of hair? Oh, he's got a sensitive touch. Touch me more, boy. Touch me more. Where do you get human hair? Never heard of the cutting. Around here, a young boy turns into a man when they cut his hair for the first time. Our sister weaves tapestries of this cut hair. If the weft is straight, happy's the fate. What if the weft's crooked? Then it must be unraveled. Is this a curse? You trapped in the tapestry? Oh, he's curious. We don't fall victim to curses. We cast them. <laughs> I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. 
Perhaps he only likes ashen head girls. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herd maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one. Return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all oh, fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Need more details? You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is? 
They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light.
solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Believe me, you don't want to know. What have you done? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. Aye, truly said. I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. You are to bring it, not ogle it. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Yes. What did you need the children for? Where are they?
You looked different in the tapestry. I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. came for. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. Why'd she attack you? Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word, so tell me everything, exactly as it happened. I'll take her feet. Lovely. I'm plump. Perfect for a broth.
You tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. <laughs> 